Well, now that our 1987 Brome is in the paint shop, we have time to work on a few of the detail pieces. This is one of the body side moldings that came from the car. It's original from the factory, uh, unique in that it's got this little groove in the middle. I think we can show it to you better. Kind of like that. Got that little groove right there in the middle. And uh, these run all... I think they were 87 and 88, 86, 87, 88. 85, I think, a much narrower molding. Uh, they may have gone to 89, but I think by 90 they stopped. Well, the deal with this is these had a tendency to burn in the sun and fade very badly. And I'm trying to get as decent a photo as you can get of this. There's a lot of burn to it. So what happened is the previous owner decided that when he had a little touch-up paint done that he would just have them go ahead and paint this molding at the same time that they painted the car. Not a bad idea because they were basically the same color, but the problem lies in the fact that he used a base coat clear coat on a vinyl or rubber molding and the adhesion was near zero and as soon as it got to the sun you can see this is the top side of the molding where the sun was bottom side which would be in the shade the top side just lost all that paint almost immediately so we've got to go ahead and get these things cleaned up and ready to repaint with vinyl top paint that i got that matches i'm not going to bore you to tears with how it's done or you know watching me do it but this is a piece of steel wool this is a piece of 100 grit sandpaper. The steel wool does the job pretty well. You start in the groove because if you start on the outside, when you get to the groove, you're just going to keep sanding the outside again. So start in the groove and get that taken care of first. And then you work the sides, this little bevel on the side right here. You work that little bevel on the side. And I do that on the edge of my workbench. And... Uh, you tell this is the trash receptacle for all the electrical wiring that I use from work. Uh, do that, and then you do the main part. If you have anything that's really divoted, like if it got a pretty good door ding in it or something like that, you use that 100 grit sandpaper to get any really big spots out and smooth it back out. The color goes all the way through, so you really don't have to worry about the color. And you're going to respray it anyway. So these will look pretty good when we're done with them. And I'll show you how that gets painted and how it looks when it's finished. And here we are, the finished product, at least finished prior to sanding, or uh, prior to painting. Uh, got all of the old base coat clear coat off of it. Got all of the major dings and dents out of it. And it looks really nice. I mean, obviously the color's a little messed up here and there but we're going to take care of that by repainting it and so we've finished repainting all of these nice trim pieces and they've come out looking really really good uh, i'm very satisfied with how well they all came out and they're going to look really nice when we put the two-sided tape back on them using only 3m because that's the good stuff and we put them back on the car